Hey everybody, Joy here. It is 12.40 on a Thursday and it is May 31, 2018. And I'm actually making the end of my video here, if that makes any sense. I started on the holiday weekend making a new pattern and you're getting ready to see what it is and, and how I made it. But, um, before I got through, I ended up going and buying a bunch more fabric to make the pattern over and over again because I love it so much. So, I just wanted to show you real quick because this is the end. <laughs> What's going to be coming up? I have these two pieces. I went to uh, Joanne Fabrics and I actually found some pretty fabric. This for a blouse and this for the pants and this has the required stretch and you'll see what I'm talking about when you watch the rest of my video and then this I think I show this to you in there I found this in my stash this is not very stretchy but if I pull it pretty hard it matches the stretch rule so I've got the pants cut out on this already and I'm getting ready to put that together and then this isn't really my color here but the fabric is wonderful they only had two bolts of this. I think Terry bought the navy blue and I bought this color. But it stretches a lot. Like the pants you buy at the store, it's stretchy and it's nice. And oh, it's really nice fabric. And so I had to go find something that had that color in it because that's not my color. <laughs> it's salmon. I think you call it salmon. And I don't ever really wear that color. I would wear bright pink or red, but not that color. But since it's you know below my waist I can wear something I can wear at the top so I have started another Simplicity 8602 right here put the zipper in it yesterday so this will be the top and this will be the bottom huh yeah I'm so excited I actually ran away from work my husband had to go someplace to another town this morning to do his ATP work and uh, build a wheelchair for a man. And Doreen went with him. She works for us at the store now. And so I heard it and got all my work done so I could come home and so support. So I showed you all three. So I have to go. And right here, I'll start this hodgepodge mess of a video I made for you guys over the weekend. It's all chopped up. <laughs> and I added things here, there, and everywhere. So Watch it if you want to. Don't watch it if you don't want to. It's okay. And I'll be back and show you some more outfits I make on a different vlog because this one's way too long. Bye for now. No, not bye for now. <laughs> Hello for now. <laughs> because the video's about to start. Get your popcorn. Hey everybody, Joy here. Good Sunday morning. It's May 27, 2018. And if I seem bouncier than usual, it's because I'm standing on my trampoline. <laughs> because I want to show you something. Philly and I, well, this is all Philly's fault, actually. Um, she texted me the other day, and uh, she said, Oh, I just ordered some patterns from Jaylee. J-A-L-I-E. And there's a website, jaylee.com. And she ordered, um, I think, yoga pants and some underwear patterns and maybe some tops. I don't know. Well, so anyway, Philly and I always have to do the same thing the other one does. <laughs> so I went to Jaylee.com and I ordered something. Well, Jaylee is in Australia. And if it's anything like ordering something from England, where I ordered something from So Over, it cost me 65 dollars for one pattern <laughs> so I'm not doing that anymore so I downloaded PDF I ordered four or five things and uh, I think there was a couple tops and the yoga pants and the um, uh, leggings and a pocket for some pants so anyway I downloaded this now it said on the website that their PDF patterns were such that you could download just your size. Well, that did not happen. <laughs> that did not happen. And there's like 25 sizes on the paper. So it was no small fiasco putting the pattern together. 
The most exciting thing about the pattern, here it is if you want to see, it's called Pull On Jeans, Eleanor, and Eleanor is spelled funny, but it's Eleanor Pull On Jeans, and they give you a chart to figure out what your size is. And I was so excited, I came out to be a size 11. I haven't been a size 11 since I was 11. <laughs> So I was super excited about that. So I don't know where they came up with the idea that hips as big as mine are a size 11, but whatever. So anyway, I taped the papers together. Complicated. Um, I have done that a lot of times on other companies, and I found this one complicated. And they didn't line up perfectly in several places, but I managed to get the thing together. I'll show you. Hold on a second, and I'll, I'll bring one of the pieces in. Just stay right there. Okay. Here is the front, and I don't know if you can see, but there's colored lines. If you have a color printer, oh, please use a color printer. You'll never get this done. And so, and there's a whole bunch more that I cut off. And so I'm way out here on X. I have to cut out on the X line, and it goes to X, Y, Z, and keeps on going. <laughs> Let me see. Inside here, it starts at F. So there's another whole size range that's for children. So... Anyway, this is the front of the pant, okay? So I'm just showing you what it looks like. You can see on the back, I've taped together one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight papers. I've taped together eight papers to get this pattern, okay? But here's the same thing. I love them. I absolutely love the pants. Now here's the thing. You have to have fabric. You're supposed to make them out of a woven. You have to have a woven that has 20% stretch. That means you take 5 inches of the fabric and stretch it, and it's got to go to the 6, okay? Or you can take 10 inches of the fabric, and it has to go to the 12. Well, I have a whole shelf full in here of stretch woven fabrics, and I had to pull on them really hard to get them to stretch that much. I'm going to try it next, but to start with, the only thing that I had was stretchy enough was knit. And this isn't a real stretchy knit, but it definitely has 20%. So, even though this is a jean pattern, I made it up in this knit. This knit is from Joann Fabrics. I don't know if they still have it, but I know it's Joann's because it says Joann's all over the selvage of it. But I want to show you how good these fit, okay, even on my bizarre body. No, my body is wonderful. God made it. So, forgive me for saying that, Lord. Okay. So, you can see how <clears throat> they fit in my butt, even though I barely have one. They fit in the tummy, even though I have a big one. The waist is about two or three inches wide, and you put elastic in it. And I hope this looks really, really far away, and I'm about an inch tall in the camera, so I hope you guys can see this better than I can. Okay, here's the front. The waistband goes on right here. There's a little, um, uh, oh, I don't know what you call this little thing, but it's like as if there was a pocket here. Remember, these are supposed to be jeans, and they're even top stitched. There's this little piece that goes right in here, and there's an extra pattern you can order for a pocket here. And I bought it, but I didn't use it because this is my um, muslin, okay? So I want to show you how nice they fit in the leg and the back. See? I had to take them in quite a bit here for my sway back and make the, uh, I made the waistband two inches smaller so it would hug my dented, caved in, caved in back. Okay? I did not take them in on the side seam at all. This is the actual pattern and how they are. You can take them in and make them uh, leggings, of course, if you want to. But, oh my gosh, I just love them. No pockets. There are two pockets in the pattern that go back here. But I didn't want the pockets in my muslin here. And, of course, I'll make some shirts that come down and cover up my tummy and don't fit me as tight as this one does. But, oh, today I'm going to find a woven. I don't know which one. But I'm going to cut these out in a woven because I just love them. Now, yesterday, Philly, um, that's why I have my trampoline here. It makes it easier for me to jump down off that chair. <laughs> Philly doesn't have this pattern. And she started with the underwear. She said she's so sick of my underwear. 
She said they never fit her right. She just hates them. The legs are too big or the waist is too big or something's always wrong with them. So she made some underwear yesterday. So I told her she made the muslin and she used the knit fabric for the muslin and she's going to wear them all day today. And I said, well, you wear them all today and if you love them, then I'll get the PDF for the underwear and make some of those too. But anyway, hold on and I'll show you one of my wovens that I want to use for this. My wovens are in this closet and my calendar is on May now instead of April. I noticed that a lady told me that and I had noticed it. So let me find the light. This is all my wovens in here, and this is what I want to use to make the next pair of pants. Huh? Isn't that fun? Because look, on the pattern, where is the pattern, Joy? Here it is. See? See these right here? Yeah. So I thought, well, if they can make them out of a wild print, why can't I? <laughs> and I don't know. I don't have any others that are... I don't know. I have plain blue. Maybe I should go with that. <gasps> How about these? Huh? How about that? That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to make a pair out of these today. So I'll come back when I get these done in the stretch woven. And I don't think it's going to stretch very far. It's not. Maybe I'll add a half inch to the seam lines or something. But this one I'm going to make my next pants out of. If there's enough. I'll be back after a while, just in case I get them done. Bye for now. Okay, I just want to show you, I'm laying my pattern out. And there's the front and the back, and both of them are fitting on this width because they're really skinny pants, because they've got negative ease in them. And so even though I don't have very much of this fabric, looks like I have a yard and a half, which isn't a lot. And this time, I'm going to put the pocket in. This is the waistband. It has to be on the fold. There's front and the back waistband piece. This gets added to the top of the back. This is the little piece that goes in the front. It goes right there. And then this, where's the one I said goes on the back? I love this board here. It is so helpful. This goes there. That goes there, and this is front waistband, back waistband, and that's the extra pattern I bought for a pocket in the front. You really have to pay attention, guys. This has a lot of little weirdos, and I couldn't find anywhere what size of elastic went in the top, and look how wide the waistband is. And so I emailed them and asked them, and they said, look on the pattern, which I thought was quite rude and not very nice. Said it was in the back of the pattern. So anyway, by the time they answered me, I'd found it anyway. Okay. I'm going to tell you something. The directions for the pockets are awful. Awful. You're going to have to go real slow, and you're going to have to practice before you put stitches in. These are the directions. There's directions in French or Chinese or some other language, and then there's English ones. But you can see, if you look at that picture right there, that I've drawn some chalk lines on and made some notes. The directions are awful, but the pockets are cute. Let me show you. So here's the front pocket. See, play like that's my belly. And that's the pocket. And here's the other pocket. With the top stitching. They're top stitch. You don't have to top stitch them. So now, the next thing about this pocket that is going to be changed before I make pair three is, oh no, what's that? Where's my finger? Look at that. It looks like the black came off. You know how you fix that, y'all? Let me show you how you fix that. See this? Go like this. I have no idea how that happened. But it's gone. Oh no, I don't go to jail, I have music on. Guys, close your ears. Don't you dare listen to that music. The next thing I want to tell you is it's the littlest pocket in world history. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Where's the bottom? This is the bottom right here. So your pocket is this big. I mean, my goodness, you can't even get your whole hand in it. Oh my goodness. So, I will take the pocket pattern 
and lengthen it. Oh, at least two inches because, oh my goodness, I want to get more than my fingernails in my pocket for heaven's sakes. Look, from the front, that's as far as I can go down. That's just wrong, y'all. That's just wrong. <laughs> okay, y'all. Listen to me, not the music. Don't you dare listen to that music or I'll have to sew in prison. Okay, I wanted to show you how I lengthened the pocket. The po this is called the pocket lining piece. And you can see here how oddly it matched up. When I cut the papers out for it, it didn't match up well at all. But hopefully y'all can figure it out. So, what you do, before you cut the pattern in half, this piece is joined to this piece. And you fold it up here to the top, because that's the way you make it. You fold it up there to the top, and then you crease it, crease it. Then you cut it apart on that line. Draw yourself a straight line all the way up through here. Lengthen that line all the way up through, because you've got to match it up. Okay, so I cut it apart on that fold. If I had two hands, I could show you. This was up here, okay? That was up there. I folded it in half. I cut it in half, then I added three inches. Taped it, taped it, folded it in half again. You line it up here at the top, folded it in half again. So now my pocket is an inch and a half longer than it was, okay? So that's how I lengthened the pocket. You don't have to do anything to the other piece. Okay, yeah. This whole pattern takes a lot of concentration. I would not call it an easy pattern. I've been sewing forever, and I had lots of trouble with the instructions, understanding all of it. Um, also, it's got chalk on it and ink on it and everything else. <laughs> um, the top stitching. You're going to have to have one of those edge stitch foots to do the top stitching well, or just don't do it at all. You don't have to have the top stitching, but it's supposed to look like jeans, you know. So. Not only are there pockets here, which are like two inches deep, I've got pockets back here. See here? Pockets. Can you see how it's higher in the back and dumps in the front? A lot of you have that issue. I'm high on this side, low on this side, so I go downhill. <laughs> that was one of the hard things that I had to do. I have to remove a half inch from the top of this leg. And since there's a waistband and there's a what do you call that thing? A yoke, a waistband, and the pant. I'm like, okay, where should I take the half inch out at? Well, the first pair I cut it off the yoke and it ended up, you could see that the yoke on the right was a half inch skinnier than the one on the left. So the way I did it on this pair was I cut the half inch off this piece right here. I cut it off at the top of that leg. I moved the pocket down accordingly, okay? However far I moved, uh, I cut off at the top, I moved the pocket down. So I don't know, I'll have to look at this um, video and hopefully you can see. Here, Joy, put your hands in, maybe you can see. <laughs> and see if the pockets look even compared to my crooked body. Okay? I still haven't gotten out of my jammies. I'm going downstairs for a shower. But I invented a new way to fix my pants. I think it's probably too hard for me to even remember, <laughs> but I'll tell you later. So the pants are cut out, and that's the top I'm going to make to go with them. Hmm? What do you think? Anyway, I'm off to get showered and dressed, and then I'll get back in front of the camera. Bye! Ta-da! Here I am. I have a shower. Oh, feels so much better. Look what I found in my closet, you guys. You remember, I made this pair yesterday. I can't remember what videos I took, so I'll just show you again. Pockets in the front. Pockets in the back. Lots of top stitching. But look what I found in my closet. I made this blouse years ago because I probably Peggy Sager said you're supposed to have lace. She's always putting lace in stuff. So I tried putting lace in this shirt and I made it a long time ago and decided I hated it so I haven't worn it. But it just happens to match these pants and I love it with these pants. So anyway, and yes, I'm on my trampoline. Would you quit bouncing? <laughs> I can't.
cat, I'm on a trampoline. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to finish those pink pants. And I probably won't get the top done today. I don't even know what top I'm going to make. But I'll get the jeans done. And hopefully, because those are a solid and they're pink, uh, maybe you'll be able to see the top stitching in them. So, I'll be back soon.